hi there this is obri chalga i'm tutor for accounting business studies ems as well as research if you're watching this you're definitely at the right place please don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your bottom right and once you're done with that you can definitely leave your comments on the comment section before we start with the lesson of the day i'd like to make some few announcements if you're in hammer scrub i'm pleased to let you know that we have contact lessons that are taking place at chusanang daycare center for a registration of 100 train and monthly fees of 250 per subject Secondly, HRK Tutorials present you with an opportunity to experience our online lessons for only 350 per month, where you'll be given two lessons per week, which are recorded as they occur online. And the last package include face-to-face -face lessons, where I'll be meeting you once in a week and teaching you accounting, helping you to prepare for those examinations and those tests. So do get in touch with us by using the details that will appear at the end of this video. With that out of the way, let's get to today's lesson. Now, in this lesson, we're going to treat um, the accounting November 2020 question paper that was written by the senior can senior certificate candidate. So we'll only be going through question four, okay? So I'm gonna go to that question now. So here is our question, I think, yes, it's on question four. Question four, fixed assets and financial statements, and it's only um, 65 marks, which is supposed to be done in 40 minutes. But obviously, because I'll be explaining to you, I'm gonna take a little bit of more time. I'm only gonna be focusing on the ordinary share capital. If you remember from our last lesson, I only focused on the retained income. So today, I'm going to be looking at the ordinary share capital. And this is what the part that we're going to do tonight or today. So I'm going to go to the part where we have to deal with the ordinary share capital. Now, before we start, I would like to caution you on something. Each and every time you are given a, a question to treat on accounting, you must always um, identify your accounting period, which is very important. Okay. I hope that um, you will pay attention to that. Uh, maybe we should use blue here. So on the question paper, if you look at it, our counting period uh, ends on 31 March 2020. So this is the end of the year. So it means our year starts on 1 April uh, 2019 to 31 March 2020. Okay, so let's go to the answer sheet and check exactly where I was supposed to answer. So I'm going to go there now. Okay, the answer sheet is fine. Let's go to the calculations. And such it is also fine so we can just proceed so now let's go to the question paper and find out what we're supposed to do so on the information we're given an extract few extracts that we're supposed to use to complete our financial statement okay so here we're expected to do the balance sheet as well as some couple of notes and also filling some fury information and if, if you check at this question uh it's costing you 16 marks which is a lot but then uh, because this is a free lesson, I'm going to be focusing on the uh, ordinary share capital mode, as I said. And if you also check here, you are also expected to do the balance sheet or the statement of financial position. And when we compare this to what we're supposed to do, the format is the same. So if I were you, I'll make sure that I understand exactly what is happening in this question because it has got a lot of marks, I think 65 marks, which is a lot. So let's go to the extract that only affects the ordinary share capital. So we are told that at the beginning of the year on 1 April 2019, 800 ordinary shares were issued. Okay. So how do we know uh, the value of the, the shares that were issued at the beginning of the year? We're going to go to 
the trial balance that they gave us. If you check here, ordinary share capital is 4,800,000 and this is the monetary value. If you want to find out the price of these shares, we can divide by the number of shares that we issued at that time, that time, okay? But we're not gonna do that now. So we're gonna go to the answer sheet and check what we have. So they've already written for us 800 ordinary shares issued at the beginning, which uh, have a monetary value of 4,800,000. So we are interested in the shares that were issued during the year and the shares that were repurchased and then the shares that were issued at the end okay so we can go to our information on the information uh, i think extract c they're telling us that on 31 may 2019 400 ordinary shares were issued but then they did not give us the price so we need to make sure that we get the price of the ordinary shares that were issued so that we can be able to calculate okay and then they also sold some shares on one october so for us to get the price of these shares we need to check the monetary value of the total shares that we issued before the repurchase of shares so what we're going to do is that we're going to check what we are given and use what we have so normally since we're given um since we're given the average share price here it means we have what we can use to get the share price of this shares okay so what we're going to do is we know that the formula for 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 the formula for uh the average price is we know that the formula is um the monetary value of issued shares which in this case will be represented by x because we don't know the monetary value of those shares that were issued before the repurchase or we can just say and then from there what we're supposed to do is to also look for the number of shares issued And then all of this is before, when we look at all of this is before repurchase. So it means that the total monetary value of the shares that we issued before the repurchase is not known. So we can have that as X over the total number of shares issued. We know that at the beginning we had around 800 shares so we're going to say 800 shares 800,000 shares plus 400,000 shares okay and then we're getting 1,200,000 and then they are telling us that the average share price is equals to 7 rand if i remember from the information that's what we were told that the average price is 7 rand Okay, so what we want to do is to get the total monetary value so that we can subtract the 4,800,000. So what we're going to do from here, we're going to divide this by one so that we can cross multiply and then we'll be left with X times one. X times one we know is equal to X, right? And then we will have X as um, X is equals to there's 1,200,000 multiplied by 7. So we take 1,200,000 and then we multiply it by 7. I'm getting 8,400,000. 8,400,000. So this is the total monetary value of shares issued before the repurchase. So for us to be able to get the new shares, remember this is the total and we want so we can say um we can say old plus new is equals to eight million four hundred thousand so that we can be able to get um the new the monetary value of the new shares so which we can use to get the share price so we know that the old uh monetary value of the shares that we issued is 
4 million 800 which is given in the trial balance and then we say plus n which will give us 8 million 400 thousand and then from there we look for the difference so we can say n is equals to 8 million 400 thousand so because we want remember in mathematics they teach you to always group the like terms so this when 4 million 800 thousand comes this side it becomes negative 4 million 800 thousand so it becomes minus 4 million 800 thousand and then we have n as 8 million 400 thousand minus 4 million 800 The answer that I'm getting is 3,600,000. So it means that the monetary value of the shares that were now issued is 3,600,000. So to get the share price, we'll say the total monetary value of the new shares, which is 3,600,000. And then we divide by, um, I think it's 400,000 then we get the price of the new shares. So 3,600,000 divided by 400,000 is equals to 9 rand. So we got the issue price of those shares. Okay. So we come here and say the new shares, which are, um, I think 400,000 issued during the year during the year and then add nine rent when you say add nine rent you mean that we're supposed to take four hundred thousand and multiply by this nine rent maybe i should show this side so add nine rent so when we take four hundred thousand when you do the calculations for here remember the answer that we got is three million six hundred thousand right you must show your calculations um for us to be able to get this we said um i'll just show them here four hundred thousand multiplied by nine and it gave us three million six hundred thousand so when they mark they're gonna give you a mark for this and also for this so it's better to be safe always show your calculations remember those ones that we did here these calculations they also play a role so you must show how you got your answers okay so we are done with that part and then from there we check on the information what are they saying about the repurchase of shares they're saying that on 1 october remember october is still within our financial period so they're saying that 60 ordinary shares were repurchased and when we deal with the repurchase of shares in the ordinary share capital note, we use the average price. Now we have to check, do we have the average price? The average, average price is given. So you come on your note and then you say minus. Remember, we are buying them back. That's 60,000. You put it here in brackets to show that it is repurchase. Of shares and then it's at remember i think we are using seven rent here the average price which is seven rent so if you take sixty thousand and multiply by seven it will give you four million uh i think it's four hundred and twenty thousand so you subtract 420,000. There's a mark for this. There's a mark for this. So for you to be able to check how many shares were issued, then from here we, we have um, shares issued. Issued at the end the end of the year 
So obviously you consider what happened at the beginning of the year and then what happened during the year and then which affects your movement. Remember, if we buy and sell, these things happen during the year. So what you're supposed to do now is that you check at the beginning. Remember, we had 800,000 shares and then we said plus 400,000. Um, it gives us 1,200,000 and then you must minus that 60,000 and then you will get 1,140,000 so 1,140,000 shares were issued at the end of the year this is the total number of shares that were issued to date at the end of the year and then we have subtracted the ones that were repurchased during the year okay and then from there, you need to confirm 1,200,000 minus 60,000, which gives us 1,140,000. So we are fine. Now we are almost done. What you have to do is to just check the total of these. Um, you say 4,800,000. Uh, plus. 4,800,000 plus 3,600,000 plus 3,600,000 plus 3,600,000 plus 3,600,000 which will give us 8,400,000 and then you subtract you remember that 420,000 you subtract it and then we get in um seven million nine hundred and eighty thousand so we get seven million nine hundred and eighty thousand then, then that's your answer here for the ordinary share capital this is the number the, the total that you're going to take to your balance sheet on this part here on ordinary shareholders equity under ordinary share capital remember ordinary shareholders equity is the total of ordinary share capital and the retained income so you're gonna put that total here as part of your ordinary share capital <coughs> so i hope that this will help, has helped you a lot and that you now understand how we are supposed to do things let's just confirm four million eight hundred thousand and then plus three million six hundred thousand and then subtract four hundred and twenty thousand so getting 7,980,000, which is correct. I hope that you've had time to understand this. If you have any question, please don't feel uh, scared to ask me. Just feel free, ask any question that you have, and I will definitely be delighted to help. And then also, don't forget to use the details that will appear at the end of this video to book your lesson. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.